So about last night, first of all, the dawn was rocking for the first time in really a long time. I heard UTEP sophomore guard Jordan Lathan coming up the tunnel following UTEP's win over Texas Tech telling fans this isn't the same old UTEP. This is the new UTEP, the UTEP of the 90s. And I'm all for the excitement. This might have been an exhibition game, but both teams were playing to win, and it was the Miners who came away with a 10-point win over last year's national runner-ups. The new-look Miners were led by Daryl Edwards, who had a game-high 24 points, knocking down six threes. Bryson Williams finished with 19 points, nine rebounds, and Lathan added 16 points. Head coach Rodney Terry has a lot of options in terms of minutes and rotation. We're going to try to play as many guys as we can, and, you know, we're trying to build depth, and, and we're trying to build quality depth. You know, when guys come in, we don't have a drop-off. This is a good stepping stone for us. It's just the beginning. I mean, the season's going to be a marathon. It's not a sprint. So, I mean, we just got to keep working hard, uh, come at practice every day, compete hard against each other, and just get each other better. And, you know, the sky's the limit for us. Now, as we all know, Texas Tech played in the national championship game last year and lost in overtime to Virginia. Chris Beard has become one of the most respected head coaches in the sport, and he had a strong message when it came to evaluating UTEP. When I grew up, uh, UTEP was the basketball school in the state of Texas, and um, you know, I think that's going to return sooner than later. You've got a great coach. Last year, he obviously had a plan in building this team, investing scholarships and sit-out guys. Uh, this will be one of the best teams in the conference this year. Uh, you can remember that I said that. There you go. UTEP opens the season at home on November 5th against New Mexico Highlands. Two